Hey fellow explorers, it's Sami Mario. Today we're going to talk about Guiding Stone, which is a card that looks like it's going to give you a free exploration, but it's not really like that. Let's see why. So, it might be comparable to um, exploring, since you're going to spend three compasses, you're going to save an archaeologist, and you're going to get a level one uh, worth of resources. There are, well, there's one big problem with it, and the fact that, yeah, you're saving the archaeologist and you're spending three compasses to get one point and a few resources, but you're not going to get an idol, which is pretty good because it's going to either provide you way more points or a way to get other free resources whenever you need them. And second, you don't get a chance to defeat the Guardian, which is also something pretty good and that I think people don't evaluate as highly as I do. Defeating a Guardian is pretty good, it's good value, and it's something that it's um, that entices you uh, towards going to an exploration site. So that's the first comparison that I'd like to avoid. The second one is the comparison with like tent or binoculars uh, and the like. So other items that let you get um, a level one worth of resources. It's not the same uh, first because, well, if you put it into your deck and draw it again, you have to pay a tablet. So that's an extra cost table to it. But the most important thing is that it doesn't let you choose. When you play binoculars or tent, you can choose. You actually know which resources you're going to get. Yeah, the value, the overall value is going to be the same, but it makes a world of difference knowing exactly what you're going to get. So, Guiding Stone, yeah. I mean, it can be good. Sometimes you just need some resources. It doesn't even mean what resources. And you're going to be fine with it. The way to optimize it, though, is to take a look at all the sites that are on board. Check them. See which sites are not included. They're going to be four and make an educated guess at which resources are gonna help you the most and then decide if you want to play Guiding Stone. It's not, it's a boring process, but it's something you should do if you want to optimize it. But most of the time, my gut says that there's a better way to spend those three compasses. So, you see, I, I got it in this game, so it's, it's not bad, but normally, I would stay away from it. We're going to talk in the future about its bigger brother though, the Guiding Skull, and that's an entirely different card, way better card, but we're going to see it in the future. As of now, Guiding Stone, yeah, it can be alright, but it's not that good.